Nine News has obtained video that reveals a crucial detail in a police shooting that was never mentioned in a press release. Nearly a week ago, a Littleton police officer fatally shot a man during a suspicious vehicle call. The agency claimed he crashed a motorcycle just before the incident. The video shows much more than just a crash. Investigative reporter Jeremy Hohola obtained video showing the officer rammed his car into the suspect. And Jeremy, uh, Jeremy, there's more to this story. Yeah, there definitely is, Kim. It starts with a press release from the Littleton Police Department describing what led up to one of their officers fatally shooting a man who was on a stolen motorcycle. Let's take a look at that press release sent nearly a week ago. It says Stephen Poulsen was, quote, driving a motorcycle and crashed. When the officer attempted to contact him, the individual ran and produced a gun. It sounds like he crashed on his own, right? Well, yet this video shows much more than just a crash. It shows an officer ramming his patrol car into the suspect who then takes off running. The officer then gives chase before the shooting. This video file actually comes from the Littleton Police Department after we obtained a cell phone video of this same security video. They sent us this file this afternoon when we started asking questions about it. We asked police why they never initially said their officer rammed the suspect with his car. A spokesperson said at the time the press release was based on preliminary information gathered in the early morning hours after that incident. The officer in the meantime remains on paid leave as outside law enforcement agencies investigate. Back to you. Yeah, definitely not what most of us would read into that initial press release. Definitely not. Cameras tell a different story. Thank you, Jeremy.